Rupert, Rupert, you seen my broom? I can't find my broom anywhere. Someone must have came in here to swipe my broom. YouTube, Kurt Curtis, I'm a part-time eBay seller and dividend stock investor. I'll take all the money I make from eBay and stack dividend stocks. However, this week was another slow week. eBay has just been very slow for me lately, but um, I have to be grateful for the sales that I do get because I still did get some sales throughout the week. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything I sold on eBay this week. All right, first up for the week, sold a Hot Wheels. Got this red Mustang here. I paid $2.43 for this. Someone sent me an offer for $20 and I accepted. Of course, I sold a DVD. We got the enemy below. This is brand new sealed. I paid a dollar for this, sold for $10.74. Next up, sold this Hallmark airplane ornament. I paid $4 for this at an estate sale a while back. Ended up selling for $22.49. Got a t-shirt going out, the Blue Man Group shirt. Pretty cool looking shirt. I paid $1.36 for this. I believe I got this at a thrift store. Ended up selling for $12.74. Sold the Hunger Games complete four film collection on DVD. This is pre-owned. I paid 48 cents for this, sold for $19.99. Next up, sold this lot of 10 Goosebump books. Um, these books were actually pretty beat up. The condition on these were, um, as you can see right here, pretty bad. Um, these are mostly earlier books in the series, so more of the common ones. But yeah, I typically pay probably around 50 cents a piece for Goosebump books, sometimes more, sometimes less, but I say on average I pay around that for them. So. We could probably safely say I have about five bucks into this lot. Ended up selling for $22.74. I got a couple of video games going out. First up, sold Need for Speed Undercover for PS3. I paid $1.42 for this, sold for $11.24. Next up, sold Vex for the original Xbox. This is actually my second time selling this game. So what happened was um, something was wrong with the buyer's address, and this got sent back to me as a return to sender. The buyer actually notified me ahead of time, so I knew this was coming back to me before I even actually got it. Um, he was aware the address was messed up or something. So um, once I got the game back, I refunded the person and relisted the item and uh, said they could re repurchase it if they wanted to, as long as they had the correct address uh, linked to their eBay this time. And um, I guess the person didn't want to, and someone else actually picked it up. So it sucks when this happens, uh, this kind of thing happens, but it is what it is, and at least the game sold for a second time, sold for $13.99. Sold Dust to Dust, a Willie Nelson DVD. This is brand new sealed. I paid a dollar for it, sold for $9.99. And no, I did not leave a $1.99 price sticker on here. This is actually under the plastic, so it's actually on the DVD. So I would have had to open the DVD to take that off. But uh, either way, that didn't matter, still sold. Sold The Last House in the Woods. This is brand new sealed, paid a dollar for it, sold for $9.99. Sold this Masters Golf Polo. I believe I got this from a thrift store. I paid $3.45 for it. Ended up selling for $12.49. I have some more DVDs going out. Here is Time Cop. This is pre-owned. I paid $0.48 cents for this. Sold for $9.99. Sold Komodo. This is also pre-owned. I paid a dollar for this. Ended up selling for $9.99. I know these $9.99 DVD sales don't seem like that great sales, and they're not. But the 4 to $5 profit on these adds up real quick when you sell a bunch of them. I bought plenty of shares of stock just by selling 9 dollars DVDs. I know it's not for everyone, but for me, I'm okay with it, so I'll take the sale. Next up, sold a video game manual, Pokemon Emerald version for Game Boy Advance. I believe I got this in like a lot of Game Boy stuff a long time ago at a yard sale, and I've had this just sitting around. I finally got around to listing it, and it sold for $19.99 pretty quickly. Um, it's not in the greatest condition, otherwise I think I could have got more for it. Sold this Ten Commandments DVD. I paid fifty cents for it. It's brand new, sealed. Sold for nine ninety nine. Next up, sold this NES Nintendo Game Genie. This was part of the big Nintendo collection I bought. Um, I tested this thing out and it works fine. Ended up selling for seventeen ninety nine. Solid DVD sale here. This is Misty, brand new, sealed. I paid fifty cents for it. Ended up selling for seventeen ninety nine. Next up, sold this Bob Marley long sleeve shirt. I actually picked up two of these from an estate sale. I paid $2 a piece for them. Um, however, this one I didn't inspect good enough at the sale, and there was like some marks and stuff on it. There was some damage. So I listed it for cheap. Uh, still ended up selling for $10.99. And last up for the week, I sold this Ron Weasley water ball as Harry Potter, kind of like snow globe figurine thing. I paid $3 for this at a yard sale, sold for $21.24. 
I also sold a pin this week. I'll put it up here on the screen. It's a cool looking sun. Um, this one took a while to sell, but um, it did eventually sell. I paid $30 for this originally. Ended up selling for $85. After fees and shipping, I was left with $70. So I profited $40 from this sale. All right, and the numbers for the week. Uh, pretty bad week. This is just like one of the worst weeks I've had in a while. I feel like I keep saying that, but it just keeps getting worse. eBay has just been super slow for me. I'm really hoping things pick up because um, this is not good. But um, I sold 19 items for a total gross sales of $284.57. So um, pretty bad. But also you can include um, the $40 profit from the pin. That kind of boosts up sales a little bit. At least pushes it over $300. But um, still, even over $300 is gross sales, just not that good. But um, I don't know. Can't do anything about it. I've been listing stuff. And uh, stuff sells, just not enough of it. However, um, uh, stay tuned for the channel. In a couple days, I have a huge haul video coming out, so make sure to look out for that. I bought a bunch of 